हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू योग बेला आई एम प्रीति आज हम लोग प्रैक्टिस करने वाले हैं लेवल एट फर्स्ट फोर लेवल्स में हम लोगों ने प्रैक्टिस की थी आसना फाउंडेशन उसके बाद नेक्स्ट थ्री लेवल्स में हम लोगों ने प्रैक्टिस किया योगा फ्लोज एंड आज से स्टार्ट हो रही है इंटेंस योगा प्रैक्टिस तो आज हमारा मेन फोकस है आर्म स्ट्रेंथनिंग पर ये सब प्रैक्टिस सिर्फ आर्म्स को स्ट्रेंथन ही नहीं करती बट उन्हें नाइसली ब्यूटिफुली टोन अप भी करती हैं तो आप ये सब प्रैक्टिस को अगर इन्जॉय कर रहे हो तो मेक श्योर यू सब्सक्राइब योग बेला विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टड Comfortably, spine uplifted, shoulders completely relaxed. Join the tip of the thumb to the tip of index finger, back of the hand resting on your knees, keeping your chin parallel to the floor. Close your eyes. Observe your breath. Leave all the thoughts at this moment. entire focus is on the flow of your breath feel your nasal walls transfer your awareness to eyebrow center setting the intention for today's class join your palms to the chest center Take a deep breath in. Exhale out completely. Inhale for the Om chant. Om. Gentle blinks. Open your eyes. Namaste. Slowly get onto your floors, palms and your knees. Knees together. Fingers wide open. Wrist comes right under your shoulder. Knee comes right under your hip. Untucked toes. Inhale, straighten your right leg back. Exhale, right knee to the nose. Inhale, straighten. Exhale two. Inhale three. Exhale. Inhale four. Exhale. Inhale five. Exhale. Then inhale straighten. Exhale. drop now to the left side inhale straighten your left leg back exhale inhale exhale inhale three exhale inhale four exhale Inhale five. Exhale. Inhale straighten. Exhale down. Now, place your right foot outside of your right side. Placing your right palm down. Right palm, right knee, approximately in one line. transferring your weight on your right palm and your right knee 
taking your left leg off with your left hand grab your left ankle and stretch it out breathe there gaze down one two three four and five slowly release back now placing your left foot to the left side outside of the mat coming onto your left palm left palm left knee approximately in one line transferring your weight on your palm and your knee on your left knee with your right hand grab your right ankle and stretch it out and stretch it out breathe there find the balance gaze fixed at one point one two three four and five slowly release center and now next we'll be holding plank for 10 deep breaths you know the alignment measure the distance between your forearms you can interlock your fingers tuck your toes and our body is in one line breathe there 10 deep breaths one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten drop your knees down now so we are going to practice a lot of chaturangas today so by chance the posture chaturanga dandasana is not coming for you it's absolutely fine because it takes long time to achieve that posture actually it takes regular practice to achieve that posture so i'll just show you how it looks like and then i'll give you the variation which you can do in the practice this is how chaturanga dandasana looks like this is chaturanga dandasana so first i'll tell you how it is done and then i'll tell you the variation so fingers wide open regular plank shift your weight slightly forward coming on the tip of your toes so shift your weight slightly forward coming on the tip of your toes and then try bending your elbows and going down and by chance it's not coming for you you can do the variation and the variation is you can drop your knees down and do half chaturanga it's completely fine yeah so now tuck your toes down with facing dog deep breaths slowly we'll move into side plank coming onto your right palm and the outer edge of right foot bend your left leg place it in front of you once you are comfortable you can stack your left foot over the right extend your left arm up focus on taking your hip higher and breathe one two three not so comfortable stick to the basic variation four and five left palm down downward facing dog amazing arm strengthening practice
to the other side onto your left palm and the outer edge of left foot place your right foot ahead and I wait on your left palm and the outer edge of left foot if you are comfortable stack your right foot over the left and extend your right arm up focus on taking hip higher and breathe one two three four and five right palm down downward facing dog not only this practice gives you great arm strength but also reduces the fat from your arms amazingly it tones your arms now slowly look ahead step your right foot forward and your left hands at your waist look ahead slowly come up with an inhalation next posture is garuda prep transfer most of the weight on your left bend your right place your right ankle on your left thigh right above the knee once you are there turn your palms breathe there five deep breaths one two three four and five slowly come up and release the other side transfer most of the weight on your right bend your left sink down placing your left ankle on your right thigh find the balance sink down join your palms and breathe one feel the opening in your hips two feel the stretch in your left thigh three four and five slowly come up and release your left leg top of the mat we'll start with two rounds of surya namaskar a feet sharply together release your hands down inhale extend your arms up just arm extension gaze up exhale bend forward inhale look forward ardha uttan now palms on the floor step back to chaturanga dandasana as i told you if you if chaturanga dandasana not coming for you you can drop your knees down and do this one if it comes for you go ahead with chaturanga urdha mukha lifting chest up adho mukha feet hip width apart fingers wide open breathe one gaze either at your navel or at your knees two three four and five inhale look forward exhale out completely and step forward exhale bend forward now slowly with an inhalation come up exhale samastiti inhale extend second round exhale bend forward inhale look forward palms down step back chaturanga or knees down variation urdhva mukha adho mukha breathe 
वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव लुक अड एक्सेल आउट कंप्लीटली स्टेप फॉरवर्ड बेंड फॉरवर्ड Now slowly come up with an inhalation. Exhale, Samastiti. Next practice, Surya Namaskar B. Feet together. Sink your hips back. Knees behind your toes. You know the alignment of Utkatasana. Extend. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, look forward. Palms on the floor. Step back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Either Chaturanga or the variation, like knees down variation. Urdhva Mukha. Adho Mukha. Now, heels together, toes out. Make a V with your feet. Bringing your right foot forward in between your palms. Back heel down, extend your arms up. Warrior one, Virbhadrasana, one. Exhale, palms down. Right leg back, Chaturanga. Urdhva Mukha, Adho Mukha. Heels together, toes out. Step your left foot forward, back heel down. Warrior one. Exhale, palms down. Left leg back. Chaturanga. Urdhva Mukha. Adho Mukha. Hold. One. Two. Three. Four and five. Look ahead and step forward. To Ardha Uttan. Exhale, bend forward. Now slowly sink your hips down. Utkatasana. Exhale, Samastiti. Next round with the variation. Feet together. First sink down, extend, Utkata, exhale, bend forward, inhale, look forward and now step back, Chaturanga, Urdhva Mukha, Adho Mukha, feet together, this time feet together, take your right leg up to the ceiling. Breathe there. One, two, three, four, and five. Right knee to the right elbow and breathe. One, two, three, four, and five. Back. Right foot forward in between your palms. Now, back heel down and come up in warrior two. One, two, three, four and five. Now, reverse warrior. Place your left palm down on your left shin. Next, in your right arm up. Breathe there. One. Look up to the ceiling at your right fingers. Two. Three. Four. And five. Exhale, palms down. Left heel off. Send your right leg back. Chaturanga. 
ऊर्धमुखाधोमुखर जेंटली टेक योर लेफ्ट लेग अप टू द सीलिंग एंड ब्रीद वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव left knee to the left elbow and breathe one two three four and five back left foot forward in between your palms back heel down coming up in warrior 2 breathe there one abdomen pulled in gaze at your left center finger two three four and five reverse warrior right palm down on your right shin and extend your left arm up gaze up at your left fingers one Two, three, four, and five. Palms down. Left leg back. Chaturanga, or the variation of your choice. Urdhva Mukha, Adho Mukha. Breathe there. One. Two, three, four, and five. Look forward in between your palms. Exhale out completely. Step forward to Ardh Uttan. Exhale, bend forward, and then slowly get into Utkata. exhale samasthiti ki next posture is first malasana and then kakasana kakasana is a crow pose arm balancing one now spread your legs wide squat down with your elbows push your knees out with your elbows push your knees out Gaze fixed at one point. Five deep breaths. Most of the weight is on your heels. You can even move your toes. And focus on the length of your spine. One, two, three, four. and 5 Now the next posture is Kakasana crow pose Dekh kar aisa lagta hai ki achieve nahi kar payenge but believe me maine abhi tak jitne logo ko bhi padhaya hai majority use easily achieve kar pate hain thodi practice lagti hai focus lagta hai but achieve kar pate hain no matter ki aapka weight kitna hai जस्ट मेक श्योर आप उस टेक्निक को अच्छे से फॉलो करो यू हैव टू कीप योर फिंगर्स वाइड ओपन शोल्डर विथ अपार्ट बिग टोस टूगेदर आम पेट्स डाउन दिस इज द स्टार्टिंग पोजिशन फॉर काकासना तो ऐसा पोजिशन क्यों रखा है फिंगर्स वाइड ओपन बेस्ट ग्रिप मिले आप गेज को फिक्स्ड रखना है समवेयर अहेड ऑफ यू बहुत आगे नहीं एंड पीछे भी नहीं बिकॉज द मोमेंट यू लुक बैक देर आर चांसेस यू माइड टॉपल एंड आम पिट्स को नीचे रखना है सो दैट नीज कैन इजिली रेस्ट ऑन दी अपर आर्म स्टार्टिंग पोजीशन में भी अगर आप अच्छे से हो देर आर चांसेस कि आप 
ईजिली इन अ फ्यू डेज काकासाना में पहुँच जाओगे स्टार्टिंग पोजिशन राइट होना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है उसके बाद का इंस्ट्रक्शन देर आर जस्ट थ्री इंस्ट्रक्शन जो आपको फॉलो करने हैं गेज फिक्सड लिफ्टिंग योर हिप अप एंड शिफ्टिंग योर वेट फॉरवर्ड इन सच अ वे दैट यू कम ऑन द टिप ऑफ योर टोज जस्ट दीज थ्री इंस्ट्रक्शन स्टार्टिंग पोजिशन राइट कर लो उसके बाद जस्ट थ्री इंस्ट्रक्शन में यूल बी देयर इन द पोज गेज फिक्स एट वन पॉइंट हिप अप चेस्ट फॉरवर्ड यू केम ऑन द टिप ऑफ द टोज वन फुट ऑफ इज गुड इनफ इफ यू आर डूइंग इट फॉर द वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम comfortable put your feet off gaze fixed and breathe one two three four and five slowly release by chance the posture didn't come for you in today's tutorial make sure you try it again इसका बहुत ही डिटेल्ड ट्यूटोरियल मैं पहले बना चुकी हूँ जिसका लिंक मैंने यहाँ पर दिया हुआ है सो विल रिपीट द पॉस्चर वन मोर टाइम नहीं हो पा रहा है स्टिक टू द बेसिक पोजीशन, द स्टार्टिंग पोजीशन, दिस वन फॉर फाइव डीप ब्रेथ्स। थोड़ा कंफर्टेबल फील करते हो सिंपली लिफ्ट योर हिप अप एंड स्टे हेयर स्टिल यू फील कंफर्टेबल ट्राई शिफ्टिंग योर वेट फॉरवर्ड एटलीस्ट ट्राई shifting your weight forward try coming on the tip of your toes scared to lift your feet off completely fine mat karo wahi par stay karo just feel karo ke feet became light now gaze fixed a good starting position hip up chest forward and taking it off breathe one two three Four and five. Slowly release. For me, this particular posture came even before Chaturanga Dandasana, and uh, it also makes Chaturanga Dandasana better. Now, sit back, relax. Bend your right knee. Right knee pointing up to the ceiling, and now. Place your right heel close to the navel. Left toes flex towards you. Lengthen your spine. Bend forward. By chance, this posture not coming for you. You can do Janu Shirshasana, where you place your leg like this. You can go for this variation. It's completely fine. grabbing your foot inhale lengthen your spine exhale bend forward one keep deepening your forward bend with every exhalation two three four and five Inhale, look up. Exhale out completely. Slowly release. Now, change the other leg. Straighten your right. Bend your left. Left heel close to the navel. Or stick to the other variation which I told you. Janu Shirshasana. Grab your right foot. Lengthen your spine. Inhale. exhale bend forward very comfortable with your left hand grab your right wrist you can adjust yourself to go deeper in the forward bend inhale look up exhale out completely and release slowly release your left leg as well moving forward now simply lie down on your spine
legs bent, knees pointing up to the ceiling, arms by the side of your body. Beginners, stick to Setu Bandhasana. Grabbing your heels, lift your buttocks off. Work on bringing your shoulder blades closer. You've been practicing for some time. We'll go for Urdu Dhanurasana, where feet wider. Place your palms under your shoulders, your toes slightly pointing out. And now, after this, try coming on the crown of your head, like this. Once you are there, walk your palms a little bit in and then lift your crown off. Breathe there. Stick your chin to the chest and then release. Hug your knees to the chest. Relax. Release all the tension from your lower back. We can do rocking up and down, massage your spine. Now a supine forward bend. Stay on your spine, grab your big toes and be there. Balancing on your mid back. If your knees are bent, it's completely fine. Work on straightening it. With practice, it will straighten. Ek hi bar mein nahi hoga. Regular practice se definitely hoga. Now, bend your left knee, place your left ankle on your right thigh, interlock your fingers outside of your right shin and feel the stretch in your left thigh and left hip. So your left glutes are engaged here. Feel the stretch. now drop your knees to the right side drop your knees to the right and face to the left center change Right ankle on your left thigh, interlock your fingers outside of your left shin and pull it in. One, two, feel the stretch in your right thigh and right hip. Three, four, and five. Drop your knees to the left side, your head to the right. Center, release in Shavasana. Spread your legs wide, mat width apart, toes falling either side of the body. Palms facing up to the ceiling, fingers naturally curled. Allow your armpits also to breathe. Do not hold on to any tension, just relax and let go.
With every inhalation, feel the expansion. Expansion of your abdomen, expansion of your chest. With every exhalation, you are melting into the ground. See how with every exhalation, your body is cooling down. Gently bring your awareness back to the body. Gentle movement in your fingers and your toes. Slowly move your head left right. Bringing your feet together. Extend your arms up over your head. Interlock your fingers. Give a nice stretch from top to toes. Bend your left knee rolling on to the right side. The moment you feel comfortable, sit up in Sukhasan, keeping your eyes closed. Take a moment to acknowledge the experience of last practice. Observe the change in your mind which has come after the practice. Check your breath. Has your breath slowed down? Your thoughts would have got reduced now. Hands at the back, grab your opposite elbows, inhale, bend back, exhale, bend forward. Send your gratitudes to the universal energy and be thankful to the Mother Earth. Slowly come up, release your hands, rub your palms nicely, generate the heat. Transfer this heat to that body part which you want to heal. Once again, rub your palms and this time, cup your eyes. Looking straight into your palms, gently open your eyes. Palms to the chest center. Namaste. Thank you so much for your practice. I'm sure you have enjoyed today's flow. If you have tried Kakasana, Crow Pose for the very first time and achieved it, then a big thumbs up for you. And if you haven't achieved it, I've made it in a detailed tutorial before. I've given it in the link in the description. You can check it out. It will come from regular practice. And I am sure about it. So if you've completed the level 8 session, please write in comment section in the level 8 section. डन जरूर लिख देना तो कल मिलते हैं लेवल नाइन की प्रैक्टिस में टिल देन ईट वेल स्लीप वेल टेक केयर नमस्ते